Hey, this is Kristen. And this is Aaron. And this is the Drive Mode Show. What are we talking about? Today, let's talk about things you can do in your car during the coronavirus. Topical. But first, I want to know what's on your t-shirt. Baggins Family Jewelers. Because it's You're precious. the king of fun t-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I have a front loader on mine. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, so, was that one of your kids' shirts and you just appropriated it? <laughs> no, it's mine. I helped to found an event here in Austin called Touch a Truck. I oh, that's I've cool. Told you about yeah. It before, but, um, it's scheduled for early May, so I doubt it's going to happen this year because we had about 6,000 people come last year. That's and, a bummer. Uh, I guess we don't need 6,000 people all in the same place right now. But it'll go, and it's it's so fun, and we have front loaders and buses and school buses mm -hmm. and ambulances and fire trucks and all that stuff for kids to get on and honk the horn and all that stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway. All right, so... I don't know about you, but when I was a teenager, there's a lot of things we did with and in cars. Yeah. Uh, and most of them are appropriate. Yes. Um, there is a thing <laughs> happening here uh, that I've noticed. There's a lot more kids and adults just kind of cruising Main Street, you know, driving around the, the, the popular downtown parts of town even though all the businesses are basically closed because right now um, bars restaurants are totally closed bars are are uh, takeout only so package delivery or package pickup only um, if you don't live where I live every bar in Wyoming is also a liquor store you can go in and just buy a bottle and take it um, most a lot of them not most of them but a lot of them have drive throughs for that so but anyway, uh, so they're yep, restricted to just that. And there's a lot of other things that are car. happening. So, but I'm seeing people cruising Maine, like back in the day. I used to do that I remember my Toyota that. Corolla. You know, that, that reminds me of White Snake. Here I Go Again in the Tawny Katane video. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know either. I think, I think now maybe more appropriate would be uh, Audio Slaves Gasoline. <laughs> Good it's, one. It's a, it's a nice sounding song and, it, and the chorus makes it sound like it's really, really like all about cars and stuff. But then you listen to the lyrics and they're really depressing. And it kind of fits now, where we are. <laughs> I bet that Sonic is like, hey, we got this. This is no problem because we do drive up all day long. Oh, yeah. Um, well, and, the, and then I saw somebody who said they should put the uh, coronavirus uh, uh, testing drive throughs they should put Chick-fil-A in charge of it, so there's no line. <laughs> um, one of the things I was thinking about for doing this, though, for what you can do with this, is uh, I've done it twice this week already. Took the kids out and went uh, went bouncing around in the wilderness. Oh, yeah, oh, we're gonna be crazy today. Uh, got mud all over a couple of vehicles and just had a really good time. Uh, and if you don't have the uh, the opportunity to do that, you could do the second half of it, which is we went to the do-it-yourself car wash and wash the car. Why not? That's a really good idea. Car washing is germ-free. Yeah, and I've got video. I just gave my kids cameras and said, here, record it while I was washing the car. It was fun. You're a fun dad. I try to be. <laughs> I've also stocked up on coffee, so while y'all were out hoarding up the toilet paper, I got the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a whipped coffee yet? Because I hear that's really, really hot on TikTok. I have no interest because it's a whole lot of sugar. Like, there's a lot of sugar being added. I drink coffee black. I do a French press and just drink it black. And uh, sugar, I only put sugar in coffee if the coffee is not good. So if I go to a diner and they have terrible coffee, I'll put sugar in it. But most of the time, I don't I want sugar. Um, and also, I was looking at the process for whipping. It's a long time. By the time it's done, it's going to be cold because you're just whip and whip and whip. I'm, eh, it's a lot of work. Watch me whip. <laughs> whip it. Whip anyway. it 
it good. Whip it. Whip it good. <laughs> so I think it's a good time to just drive, you know, yeah. and drive around. If, if you're not sheltered in place in an area where you have to stay put, I think just taking a drive is a good way to see outside here in Austin. Mm -hmm. We've got wildflowers everywhere. They're just bursting out all over the place. And it's a beautiful drive between here and San Angelo, which is where we'll be driving tomorrow. Nice. Um, and this is a great time to explore the roads that you don't normally drive. You know, when you're on your way to work or something, you basically take the same route. Uh, if you're going to grandma's house, you probably get on the same freeway or whatever and go the same way. This is a good time to just drive off the freeway, find the little highway, the county or, or, or uh, US highway, and just see where it goes. You know, fill the tank, see how far you can get. Where can you, where does it go? What does it do? Get out the map book. If you still, if anybody still has those, I have, I have the big Rand McNally ones. Um, we do too. We've got the a, big red Atlas. It's a holdover from the truck driving days. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but, well, that's a really good time to teach your kids STEM mm -hmm. as well as geography too, because you can teach them how to read a map as you go. You can also teach them about the engine parts and mm -hmm. show them different parts of the car, teach them about how to replace a windshield wiper, teach them how to replace a tire. Mm -hmm. it's, there's all kinds of educational opportunities that you can do with your car right now. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's also a good time to teach them that it's possible to just take a drive because you want to. Um, to just go out and drive and look out the window. You know, that's that's something that in a lot of ways is being lost. And uh, uh, But those of us who live out in the hinterlands that have to drive everywhere, you know, maybe we haven't lost it. But I do notice that it's it's a thing that's going away. That's true. You have to, most people have to have a destination and, yeah. you know, again, that, that route between Austin and San Angelo, there's so many cool things to see out the window right now, the wildflowers, but there's also exotic animal farms where you can mm -hmm. see ibex and zebras and um, emus and llamas, alpacas, you know, and we talk about different things that my husband did growing up in Texas and oh, yeah. it's a good place for a conversation. You know, if you have teenagers, or, or tweens even, it's a good time to talk to them. They call that side-by-side um, -side learning, mm -hmm. you know, where you don't have to actually face each other and talk. You're sitting next to each other, engaged and looking around, and the conversation becomes very natural. And, you know, there's other things you can do uh, just sitting in a car with each other where conversations like that lead interesting places. Um, and then if you're, but, if you're really proactive, if you really want to do something community, right? Uh, I have seen where people are organizing where anybody who has any sort of get up to, you know, like the inflatable dinosaur suits, the, um, the outfit, like our, our school principal over here, he has an outfit where he has like basically this inflatable horse he sits on and he wears a cowboy hat and he can ride it around the school. Um, That's you know, awesome. All those sorts of things, characters from different businesses, they're getting them all together in like a school or other parking lot where they just stand around the perimeter and they wave and hang and hang out and people can just drive by with their kids and say hi and scream out the windows and stuff. And it's a nice little, nobody's breathing on anybody, you know, all that stuff. But it's a, it's a nice, uh, cool way to, to kind of create sort of a carnival without the crowd. You know, it's, it's a yeah, fun idea. A friend of mine has a, a 10 year old, he just turned 10. So his birthday was in the last couple of days and they decorated the car, you know, with streamers and things on the car, things written mm -hmm. on the windows. And then they went around the neighborhood and people in the neighborhood had stationed themselves at the bottom of their driveway. Like one kid was dressed up like a hot dog. Other kids were holding signs and it was kind of like a parade for this kid yeah. whose birthday it was and it gave him opportunity to have something a little bit special that's brilliant until he can have a party <laughs> we've been uh in our neighborhood here we've been doing little things uh saint patrick's day uh they were encouraging parents to have their kids make shamrocks to put in the on the door or in the window and right. then just walk or drive the neighborhood and see how many you can spot count them up and and post i i saw this many you know, uh, now they're doing, there's plan, one plan coming for Easter 
and now they're doing sidewalk right now so just chalk up the sidewalk and somebody chalked up over by our mailboxes we have those shared mailboxes and over in front of those somebody took that poofy chalk and wrote a big mail our mailman is awesome and all that kind of stuff on it and yeah it's really cool that is really cool like finding ways to share joy and yeah. uh you know helping each other out that's really cool and shout out to john that's our mailman because he's a fan of our show hey john and he uh in fact my mailbox out there when you open it on the inside it says aaron on autos on it drive mode <laughs> Yeah, he I sends me Facebook covered, messages when you know, he likes whatever car I have. <laughs> so that's cool. That's so cool. Well, for now, I think that gives people a couple ideas of what to do in their cars. Cars are still really important. We're looking mm -hmm. forward to the bounce back after everybody's allowed to go back to work. But in the meantime, some automakers are doing some really cool things like GM, FCA, Ford, Chevrolet. I've seen mm -hmm. a lot of people, a lot of companies coming together to contribute to the cause. Yeah, um, really, really big shout out to those people because uh, they're they're going out of their way to use their logistics, use their their expertise in in materials finding, using their expertise in uh, manufacturing and all kinds of things to really come together and and make things happen uh, to make you know to contribute to throw back at the community and and um, and help us out when things are like this. That's cool to see, so. It's really cool. Good job. Yeah. All right, well, this has been Drive Mode for today. This is Kristen. And this is Aaron. Talk to you again soon. Hit subscribe. subscribe. Thanks for watching.